Mayor Crombie, tear down this wall. Now, I know we've used that one already, and of course it goes all the way back to President Reagan and the Berlin Wall, but a beautiful Arendelle Park. Say it ain't so, but they still got it closed. I mean, they're opening all, all kinds of things, including the golf courses, and yet these family parks, which, which are in essence the front and backyards of people who live in Mississauga, remain closed. Now, they're gonna tell you that they're actually open and you can just walk in there. But for most people with families, this is not safe. This is Dundas Street and it's very dangerous. There's nowhere to park. So if you don't live in the area or you're not a fitness enthusiast like a runner or a cyclist, in essence, this park is closed. They should have never shut the parks in the first place. Yeah, I agree. There's like no evidence mm. that we can transmit outside. Exercise is one of the best ways that we can keep our immune systems up. It was a, it was a stupid idea. It was the opposite of a good idea. Yeah. Since they do have people going into the parking lots at Costco and Walmart and you know, other golf courses, why not open it up and find some way to click some people in and get a few hundred in here at a time? We'll let the kids run around and enjoy the park. It's here after all, and you're not going to lock it for the whole summer, are you? I think Mayor Bonnie Crombie and Council, even though I know they're trying to keep people safe, have got to consider the big picture. The big picture is right here in this empty park with Ernest Rosick, out covering the pandemic, Joe Warmington for the Toronto Sun.